Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to another video. My name is Lucas, and in this one, I'm gonna be telling you about how social media manipulates you. All right, so this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a while now. And uh, this is a very, very relevant topic because a lot of these websites like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc., are growing rapidly and are, <laughs> they're very popular, especially among, amongst young people. So there's a lot of positives to these websites and one of them is <laughs> watching, you know, self-help videos, personal development videos. There, there's a lot of positives. But I'm really going to stick to the negatives because, in my opinion, the negatives to these websites just drastically outweigh the positives. So before I start this, you can use these websites to, to your advantage, but it's really when you start overusing these websites, that's when they become toxic and and detrimental you start really screwing yourself over so i got a little cheap book right here full of notes <laughs> so the first point i'm gonna make is the people who own these social media websites like youtube instagram twitter facebook they actually study human psychology and human needs and they exploit your needs they exploit your natural needs so one of them is the need to socialize so when you're always on social media and you're communicating with people what your mind really thinks is happening is that you are really making a name for yourself almost in like the social world and it perceives this as you are doing a good job with your survival. But what's actually happening is that you're just sitting on your ass on Instagram for four hours. <laughs> so your needs are absolutely crucial for a successful, happy, easy, effortless survival. You need to actually fulfill these needs in a healthy way. And social media really just exploits them for their own selfish gain. So these apps are made to be addicting because they target these needs. <laughs> They actually rewire your brain in such a way so that you keep coming back because it feels like you need this. It actually becomes an addiction. And addictions are the total opposite of fulfillment. <laughs> Always needing more and craving is itself a form of suffering. It is the total opposite of happiness. It's the opposite of what you actually want. So the reason why you go onto these websites in the first place is because you think it can like improve your life and your happiness with some entertainment and things like this. And really what it does is pretty much the opposite. It really just makes you distracted, and it kind of just destroys your concentration ability. So it, it really does the opposite of happiness. It creates addictions. It creates, it creates a lot of anxiety, really, because you can see things and really people are obviously just posting their, their, their greatest highlights, really, <laughs> on social media. So you go, you go on social media and you have all, all your friends and Kylie Jenner and whatever, and she's posting a picture of her when she's looking the best or your friends and they're all together smiling and all this. 
No one posts the worst part of their lives. So when you are bored and you're feeling like crap and you go on social media, you then see a bunch of other people who just seem to like have it all. But this is obviously a front. This is obviously not accurate. Really? Social media isn't bad. I'm not trying to say this is like a bad thing or make fun of anyone or demonize anyone. This isn't the purpose of this. Really, it's just you have to notice if you are addicted to these websites. I personally use social media. Obviously, this is a, <laughs> a YouTube video. I also have an Instagram, but you see, when I wake up in the morning, I don't grab my phone immediately, check my DMs. <laughs> when, I, when I wake up in the morning, I use my phone as an alarm. So I grab my phone right away and it's, it's already on mute. I have my phone on mute all the time. So I turn off the alarm and then I toss it in my sock drawer out of sight for hours. I think it's around four, four o'clock today. And I think I checked my phone for the first time at around like 3, 3.30. So I don't really use, I don't go on my phone too much. So there's nothing wrong with going on these websites, but it's just like this addiction because it rewires your brain. If you notice, if you have your phone in your pocket, there's almost like an unconscious like reach for your phone sometimes when you're bored. You don't really think about it. Like, oh, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my phone. It's just like an unconscious reach. You're like a zombie. Just like there's no mind. <laughs> well, there is. <laughs> no mind is something different. <laughs> so yeah, you're just like a zombie. You're just reaching into your into your pocket unconsciously, just looking for some quick, cheap dopamine rush, this quick hit of pleasure. But really, this is just like unfulfilling crap that is just distracting you from life and is making you feel like crap. So these, these websites are designed to be addictive. So they will find out what it is you like by watching your search history and then they continuously recommend more of this same, these same things that you watch. Let's say you watch a lot of video games. They find out he likes video games or she, and they keep recommending you this to keep you on the website. And they time how long you watch these videos, or if you're on Instagram, a picture. They time how long it is that you look at this picture or video. And then based on that, they recommend you more. So they are watching everything that you are doing. The whole thing is watched. So they make money by keeping you on their website. They need to keep you on the website make money. That means that they have to get you addicted to the website in order to make money. That's how they, that's how they <laughs> earn money for their business. So these people don't really care about your own well-being. What they really want is the money. I mean, obviously this isn't, once again, I'm not trying to demonize anyone or say they're bad and point fingers. None of this. This isn't the point of this video to say these people are bad and evil. This is more distraction. This is more nonsense. That's not the point of this. I'm just making observations on what is really happening. What is really going on? So they get you addicted so that they can make money from you, keeping you on, keeping you watching advertisements and all, all this. So they don't care about your actual well-being. You need to care about your well-being so that you can see through this 
realize you might have an addiction to these sites, these apps, and just notice how they make you feel. And they probably make you feel like crap because when you're always just distracted by social media all day, you're on your phone, you're forgetting about things that actually matter to you. Because if you're honest with yourself, do you actually care about Instagram or Twitter or 90% of the stuff you see on social media? Does any of this actually matter to you? Because it really doesn't to me. <laughs> if it does, that's great. So personally, I've unfollowed pretty much everything that I think is a stupid waste of time. So when I do go on these sites, it's usually just like stuff I, in, I genuinely enjoy. So sometimes like art or like consciousness or just that's about it. Art and consciousness. That, that's the whole thing. Philosophy, psychology, that's, that's all I see. So I don't go on the site and I see pictures of like beautiful women. <laughs> And then I'm just there like at like two, two o'clock in the afternoon, just like staring at like pretty much porn. That, that doesn't happen. There's, I don't follow anything like that. And if you are scrolling through your Instagram feed or your Twitter and you're just seeing this, just realize what it is you're, you're doing. <laughs> your brain perceives this radically different. It sees this as you are like socializing and interacting with a lot of people and that you're also having a lot of sex really like you're you're getting your needs met and it perceives perceives this as like you are doing a good job surviving which isn't the case you're doing a shit job <laughs> you're doing nothing and once again I'm I'm not judging anything about this. I'm not, I'm not trying to demonize any of this or say it's bad. It simply is what it is. There's a lot of negative side effects that come with this. And really when I say you're doing a, a shit job, I'm really just trying to get my point across. I'm trying to be as direct as possible. I'm really, it's almost like I'm trying to slap you in the face in the form of a YouTube video. I really want you to see just how much of a waste of your life a lot of this stuff is. So over time, these sites will rewire your mind in order to keep you on the site. It's made to do this. They have psychologists that study how this works. So, this absolutely destroys your concentration ability. And if you've watched any of my previous videos about enlightenment, meditation, consciousness, the concentration ability is the most important ability that you need to fulfill these, these, these needs, these, these higher higher level, higher consciousness needs. The concentration ability is absolutely essential, even for regular everyday stuff. Let's say you want to earn a million dollars and you want to build a great business. You have to have some concentration, some sort of mental clarity and like a drive to get this done. And most of what's on social media is a distraction from that. And not only does it distract you, but it actually destroys your mind in such a way that you don't actually have the proper energy to get these things done. So my last point is that on these sites, there is a lot of misinformation. So let's say you watch one video that's very misinforming it's it's fake news they will notice that you have watched this video and for how long and they will recommend you more of the same 
So let's say you watch some sort of conspiracy theory against, on like how squirrels are taking over society, and like, I don't know, the squirrels are shape-shifting demon monsters who are coming to kill us all, or whatever. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Just like something absolutely stupid. They will notice that you have seen this and continuously recommend you more of the same. So the problem with this is that, obviously, if they keep recommend you, recommending this to you, you go down the rabbit hole of absolute nonsense. Just, <laughs> before you know it, there's like two, three hours gone, and you spent it on squirrels taking over the world. And all this. So let's say you haven't even spent it on squirrels taking over the, uh, over the world. And really this last point was about misinformation. I'm just adding some more right now. So let's say you haven't watched squirrels taking over the world. Let's say you've just watched like a bunch of video games or all, any, anything like this. It just keeps on reeling you in. It's designed to be this way, to manipulate you, to exploit your lower self, exploit your lower needs so that they can make money. None of this is bad. It simply is what it is. It's not good either. It just is what it is. We need to be aware enough to notice this, not actually demonize it and judge it as this is awful and this shouldn't be happening and freak out. We just need to notice that we can do better. <laughs> That's kind of it. That what you're seeing with all this manipulation and all this, this isn't the end of... <laughs> This isn't the final stage of like human development. Everything that you're seeing right now is a necessary aspect of human development so we can grow to higher levels of consciousness. So this social media manipulation era is 100% necessary and actually perfect so that we can learn from our mistakes and actually grow to higher levels of human development. But in order to do that, we have to screw up big time for some reason. I don't know why. Not all of us have to screw up big time, but we really have to take it too far. So, what I mean by we have to take it too far is we really have to like, we really have to do this and just, until it's just so blatantly obvious. We really have to just like, oh God, I, I'm having trouble putting this into words, but we have to like really screw each other over until we realize that, hey, this is kind of selfish and not fulfilling and we're just screwing each other over. And then we learn from that and it takes us a while. So what you're seeing with all this social media manipulation is absolutely necessary for growing. We have to make these mistakes so that we can grow to the to higher levels. So social media is awesome. You can use it for a lot of great things like building a business, talking to your friends. I have a group chat with all my friends. We just say when we're gonna hang out, and then, oh, seven, we, we meet up at, at 8.30? Okay, done. And, and then we go meet, off the phone. <laughs> That's it. So there's a lot of positives, but really, in my opinion, the negatives just drastically outweigh the positives. And really, this whole digital era, this digital era, is really contributing to a lot of people's anxiety and depression. The, the anxiety and depression rates are really high nowadays because none of this is healthy for your mind. You're not supposed to stare at a screen for eight hours a day. You're not supposed to... <laughs> your needs aren't supposed to be exploited by people <laughs> to make money. So, yeah. 
All right, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. It helps to get this video noticed by YouTube and uh, get me more subscribers and views, and I love that. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I will reply. And lastly, subscribe for more. I love seeing my subscribers go up, and thank you guys so much. Peace.